All right, take a look at the VWAR clamp on multimeter. Okay. We got a large instruction manual. It's nice. We got our test sleeves. So it says that these are cat three 600 volts and is good for 10 amps. This does actually have a cap on it. So right now this tip is protected. So you can kind of root around. You don't have to worry about shocking anything, but you can pull this off and you got a little bit extra probe. So that's nice. They do come capped on the end. So we don't have to worry about any contaminants getting inside. And then here is the meter. That's got a nice spring on it. So it feels a little heavier than most multimeters that I see like this. So I like that. It just kind of feels like a substantial tool. So we'll put our black probe in the COM port and we'll put our red probe in the volts port. So on the back, we got our battery tray and it looks like it does come with three AAA batteries. So that's good. Okay, so let's try ohms. Okay, so that is working. And I'm gonna hit select. So now we're on diode. Doing the same thing. And we got beep. So that's good. So if you're probing into something and you can't actually look at the meter, you can still use that. So that's good. We've got voltage. So right now it's on DC. If we wanna change that, we just hit select and now we'll change it to AC. So with that, Hundred and twenty three volts, so that is working no problem. So since we got that out, let's go ahead and go to non-contact voltage tester. So that's gonna use the tip to check for voltage. Cool. I don't actually use non-contact voltage testing very often, but when I do use it, it's usually because a wire pulled out of a plug or something like that. So I wanna make sure that there's no power going to that plug before I start messing around with it, or especially just taking it apart. So that can really come in handy. And then we've got Hertz. Now, I live in the US, so this should report 60 Hertz. Yep, 60.14. And that could be really good if you're like testing motors or anything like that. And then we got the amperage testing. So if you wanna see what kind of a load we got on a circuit, this is where you would put it. We do have DC as well as AC for that. But it is important to note that these clamps only really work on AC. So just keep that in mind. If you're gonna be testing DC, then you need to use the leads for that. And the other thing that a lot of people don't really know is you can't just put it around a full cable like this because it's not gonna give you an accurate measurement. You have to go around that black line wire. So what that can be good for is if you're gonna be working inside an electrical box or if you just wanna check, again, like on a motor or something, Thing like that. Anytime you can clamp around a single line, that's going to be what you use this for. But it can also be good if you just need to hang this up on something like clamp it to an electrical box, and you can use the test leads for probing around. So very nice to have this. So the other thing that we got on here that's really cool is that this actually has a temperature sensor. So all we have to do is plug this probe in. It does say positive here, negative there. So we'll plug that in and switch it to temperature. So it is reading my temperature at 32 degrees Celsius. Of course, that's just fingertip temperature, but we can also select, change that to Fahrenheit. So that says 91 degrees Fahrenheit. So where that can come in handy is if you need to turn on a machine or something like that, you can slip this inside that cabinet and then you'll be able to tell how hot it's actually getting without putting any kind of like special equipment in there. So very nice to have that. Right now it's reading 69 degrees. We also have a max minimum button so we can check what the max is. So if I put my finger on it and let go, it is going to hold that maximum temperature even though the temperature dropped down. So if I want to clear that, just hit that. The lowest was 68, and then we're back to the current. So that's handy, and it also works for voltage, amps, all the other functions. Now, if we just want to hold the current setting, we can put some temperature on it, hit hold, and that's going to hold 88. So very nice. A lot of features in this multimeter. So overall, that is a very cool meter.